Hey everybody, welcome to Internet Banter. Today I'm going to be talking to you about fiscal dominance. Well, if you've never heard of this term before, don't worry. I got you back. I'm going to explain this term over the next 5 to 10 minutes and tell you why it's so important to learn about it. So in the current high rate high interest rate environment, countries and corporations with highly leveraged balance sheets might find it difficult to refinance their debts and they would need to issue debts at significantly higher yield. So corporations might find themselves up against the wall because if the corporation is not profitable, if the company is not profitable, then people would not be willing to buy their bonds unless the yield is high enough and that can really strangle the companies. But when it comes to governments, they can work their way out because they have the money printer, they can print their way out of this mess. And that is what fiscal dominance is all about. Fiscal dominance occurs when fiscal policy, which is all about government spending and taxation, exerts significant influence over the monetary policy, which is the control of money supply and interest rate, which is in the hands of the central bank in an economy. So the government's willingness or need to spend more starts to exert an influence over the interest rates or the money supply. It's basically as government starts to exert the influence over the central bank, then that becomes a situation of fiscal dominance. And this can have particularly adverse effects on a highly leveraged economy where a significant amount of debt is present. Ideally, central banks are meant to be independent institutions that make decisions about monetary policy without being influenced or by short-term political pressures. And their primary goal is to ensure price stability, control the inflation, and prevent economic stability. However, the relationship between central banks and governments can vary and can be influenced by different factors. So, given the current unstable political geopolitical atmosphere, Nation states are increasing their military budgets. Even Japan, which is considered as a pacifist nation, has lately started increasing their military budgets. And there's weakening globalization because of which firms are onshoring and uh, there's a huge supply chain realignment happening with uh, the U.S. announcing incentives for manufacturing chips and other major uh, stuff within the country locally rather than importing it. So there's a mega scale infrastructure and manufacturing capex and incentives happening right now as we speak. There's also the green energy transition which is happening across the world because of climate change and global warming. So governments are spending lots of money and are incentivizing private players to make that transition sooner and so that we can reduce the emissions and go to net zero as soon as possible. There is also the problem of aging demography. This is especially true in US and other Western countries. The number of young people are lower compared to the aging uh, older people. So because of this, uh, these old people or rather the aging population does not contribute much to the GDP because most of them are not at the prime of their working years so they might be retiring on and so on so however the government's burden on social security to for, for the maintenance and welfare of these people is ever increasing as the aging population increases. So this is also 
contributing to more public spending. And given the populist stance taken by politicians to stay in power, they are unlikely to cut the budget in any meaningful manner. Because the moment they cut the budget, cut the spending in any of these major areas, they, they will fear that uh, the people might not vote them into power. So all this leads to fiscal dominance as the only means to fund these programs in a way without inflating the debt to, uh, and uh, without inflating the balance sheet and the debt to GDP too much. So that was my explanation of fiscal dominance. And guys, the reason for making this video is because fiscal dominance might not be much relevant at this point, but as we go through the upcoming years of this decade, the governments would be forced to resort to such tactics because gotta keep running the economic engine, right? So guys, uh, subscribe to Internet Banter for more such insightful content and I'll see you in another video. Cheers.